in what ways will AI impact real estate and startups and, and the business of invest of venture investing into startups? We'll start with you, Pete, since you, you, you went there first. Well, I think there's, there's, I guess I would look at it broadly as three, three different themes. So okay. one is that um, I think the AI will give incumbents an advantage. You know, take Zillow, take CoStar, they're sitting on this like enormous distribution, enormous data, um, you know, it's an enormous business. And, and I think a lot of the, you know, you could, you know, I could imagine a founder building, okay, we're going to give up an AI chatbot that helps agents respond faster with micro. Great. You know, that's probably a good idea. But I suspect Zillow is going to do that. Um, and they're going to do that better than, you know, the average startup. And so I think, and they've got scale, they've got engineers, they've got distribution. So it's just going to make what they do better from the back end sales operations to the front end consumer experience to valuation. So I think there's just like, you know, if you're an existing prop tech company, I think all our portfolio companies are doing that. Like, how do I embrace AI? Like, yeah. What are the things I can do to just, you know, code faster, manage relationships with customers faster, sell to new people? So I think that's, that's one thing. Second theme that we're um, particularly interested in is, is what I roughly call like AI expert automation. So you think about, you know, the, the thing about AI is that there are certain, you know, highly skilled tasks or semi-skilled tasks which have a whole bunch of potential training data around them. And AI is just really good at doing those sort of processes. And you think about, you know, you think about real estate and of course there's the front-end experiences, whether that's CoStar or, or Zillow, but the back-end construction processes or financing process, I think that will be massively transformed. And so you can imagine construction, architecture, mortgage origination, um, design, a whole bunch of these skilled processes where you can start to use, you know, whether it's computer vision or data or architecture to turn these, these, these services, which, they, and they might start off as co-pilots, but before long, I think they're going to go into these really automated experiences, like, which, you know, you look at the trillions of dollars that's spent in construction, mm. you know, trillions of dollars that's wasted in, in the sort of inefficiency for lack of productivity. So I think there's a bunch of things in there. It's, it's hard to execute in, in these categories, but it does feel that the, the um, product experience will escape the internal friction in the sales processes and implementation. That's just, just a wow, wow experience. And then the third is what we call AI-enabled marketplaces, where you're starting to think about, okay, you have an existing marketplace, but how can you potentially use AI to unlock more supply in this area, which, which, may, which may reduce the cost structure or open up more supply in a, in a constrained environment? Or you can create novel matching experiences between different um, demand and supply. But the, but the, the, the AI will reduce the friction and enable liquidity to build these marketplaces.